children. I am teacher Reina Donsese and I am your mathematics teacher. So we're going to discuss about mathematics today. But before we're going to the uh, essence of this discussion, um, I have here a real objects we often see here in our classroom. So I bring it here so that you can see. What can you say about these scissors? Any, anyone? Yes, Maria. Very good. It has an angle sides. Very good. How about this one? Puncher. What can you say about this? Pedro. Very good. It has also an angle and it has sides. Very good. How about the book? What can you say about it, Mera? Yes, again, it has an angle, different angles and sides, of course. Very good. So, um, who among you here has a protractor? Okay, so those who have protractor, can you please come in front and try to measure the angles in these drawings? I am going to post it here in chalkboard. And those who can measure the angles, I will give a point to those who can measure this uh, angle in the drawing. Come in front and draw. I mean, come in front and try to measure using protractor. So, very good, Maria, Pedro, and Juana. Okay, very good. Those who come in front, you have plus points. So, uh, the discussion is about angles. So, the, our topic is about angles. So, you said a while ago that the objects we presented before has an angle side. Very good, it has angles. But you have noticed that the angles have different kinds. So, uh, let us discuss first what is angle. How can read? What is the meaning of angle? Okay, very good. Angles is a figure formed by two lines extending from the same point. So, extending from the same point, may, meron silang isang point, pero two lines siya na nag -met. Okay. An angle is measured in degrees. So, uh, pag may measure natin kanina, may measure nyo kanina, may angles. So, ang tawag dyan pag may measure siya is degrees. Halimbawa, kanina, right angle, 90 degrees. Oh, very good. It can be classified according to their measurement. So, we can uh, determine the kinds of the angles according to their measurement. So, what are the kinds of angles, children? What are the kinds of angles? Who can come and try to um, post the kind of angle? Okay, acute angle. The first one is acute angle. What is the definition of acute angle? Acute angle. So, uh, who can read the definition of acute angle? Okay. Pag sinabi ng acute angle, an angle that is less than 90 degrees. Okay, less than 90 degrees daw siya class. So, ang saan dito sa object kanina, Yung less than 90 degrees. Okay, very good. Ito, ice cream is measured. Sina nang measurement niya kanina? Sino nag-measure kanina? So, we have only... Okay. 50 degrees. So, that is an example of... Kanina sa ano is... Acute angle. Another example is the... So, the example of acute angle is this. Angle that is less than 90 degrees. Pag less than 90 degrees, so like for example, 30 degrees. So, it is called acute angle. What about right angle? Okay, the meaning of right angle, who can read? Yes, Mark? An angle that is exactly 90 degrees. Pag 90 degrees siya, right angle na siya. So, example, kanina, uh, yung ano, hand of a clock. Example siya ng right angle. It has a perfect 90 degrees angle. Oh, this is example of right angle. Hmm. It has a perfect angle, 90 degrees. What about obtuse angle? What about obtuse angle? Look can read the meaning of it. Obtuse angle. Okay, an angle that is 
greater than 90 degrees and less than 180. Okay, sa protractor, meron tayong dyan makikita natin hanggang 180 degrees kasi uh, half lang siya. So, pag measure natin greater than 90 degrees but less than uh, 180 degrees, syempre ang tawag sa kanya is obtuse. The example of this is ganito. Okay. So, measurement niya is, sabi na, greater than 90 degrees. So, greater than yung 120 and then hindi siya naglagpas or hindi siya greater sa 180. So, less 180. So, the example of that is of juice. What about what about an angle that when we add, we have the sum of 90 degrees? What kind of angle it has? Okay. Very good, Maria. This is called complementary angle. When we say complementary angle, if we add a both uh, ano, angle, we will have the sum of 90 degrees. Like for example, this one. If we're going to add 70 degrees by 20 degrees, complementary, so we have 90 degrees. So they are called complementary angles. And last angle, is called what? Any idea? Okay, this is supplementary angle. When we say supplementary angle, kung ang complementary is, if we add two angles, meron silang total 90 degrees. Sa supplementary angles naman is, they have total 180 degrees. Like for example, this one. If we're going to um, add 140 degrees to 40 degrees, we will have 180 degrees. So, they are called supplementary angles. Understand class? Okay. Now, you're going to apply what you have learned from my discussion. So, measure the following angles and tell me what kind of angle it has. So, you're going to measure each of these and you're going to tell me here in front what angle it is. Okay, the next one is you're going to... Answer in your answer sheet the following. So, in your answer sheet, draw the following angle. So, you should answer it and I will check that later. And for your assignment, you're going to draw your dream house using different angles. Label the angle used and you can add color using any coloring material. So, I will be go going to add plus point to those who are beautiful output. Okay, that could be all for today class. Any questions? I hope you learn from my discussion and uh, take care always. Goodbye class.